Hello friends, in this video I will be talking about how to tackle the soft cataract. It is often said that softer cataracts are harder to tackle but it is not so. The only difference is that the technique to use in soft cataract is different from those which are having nucleosclerosis. Nowadays we often get these softer cataracts because now patients are more aware and they come at early stage of cataract and we also have younger patients getting cataract. So it is important to understand how to tackle this properly and what is the thinking process behind to do this phacoemulsification with least complications. The primary requisite for tackling it is to have a good CCC. I recommend at least 5 mm CCC in these cases. The technique for tackling these soft cataracts is to do nucleus prolapse and do phaco aspiration because we hardly require any energy in such cases. The only thing what, what we require is the vacuum. So this is the ideal CCC. Once you get the CCC right, the next important technique is to do a good hydro dissection. I have shown this in another video on my YouTube channel so you can go through it. But it is important to do a cortex cleaving hydro dissection like this. The fluid wave should be nicely visible. So both sides I push the fluid and after that I have done hydro delineation by going into substance of the nucleus. Again see it in slow motion. The first fluid wave, I tapped on the other side, then the second fluid wave and then I will go for hydro delineation by going into the substance of the nucleus and pushing more fluid. As it is softer cataract, the nucleus will get separated and now it is already one of the pole is prolapsed in the anterior chamber. Then push viscoelastic but very little viscoelastic just to coat the endothelium. Don't push so much that the nucleus tends to go into the bag. This is another case I am showing how to do the nucleus prolapse. So after the first hydro dissection, I gently mechanically manipulated the nucleus so it prolapses into the AC. By prolapse I mean only one pole is prolapsed. See again, just using the cannula I mechanically lifted the nucleus from one side. In this case, again hydro dissection is done, cortex cleaving. This is very important and just by pushing more fluid gently inside the bag, one pole is prolapsed out. See it again, cortex cleaving hydro dissection, very important step and then gently pushing of fluid from one corner keep gently pushing it so one prolapse one pole prolapses out it is important to push the fluid gently so now how to emulsify this prolapse nucleus so first go in with lower iop position your phaco probe with be well down and the tip should be at the edge of this nucleus. So just watch where the tip is lying and also it should not be very close to the CCC margin. So it should be at least one millimeter away but at the edge of the nucleus. Don't try to go too much into the center of the nucleus but at the edge of the nucleus. See here again I am trying to aspirate at the edge of the nucleus. So when I aspirate at the edge, it starts rotating. Also your non-dominant hand can help 
it to feed the nucleus so keep rotating the nucleus around it using your non dominant hand always be watchful about the ccc margin whether your probe is going near to that and always attack the edge of the nucleus that's how the cortex epinucleus and the nucleus tumbles out and gets aspirated the irrigation aspiration of cortex is just as usual so the most important point is to aspirate at the edge of the nucleus but keeping in in mind where is the ccc margin also the vacuum should be used reasonably high it is important to understand when not to do this technique so seemingly softer cataracts sometimes on table you realize when you start doing hydro delineation that it is significantly harder for the prolapse and phaco aspiration so in such cases even if you have prolapse one pole out just push the visco and push the pole gently inside the bag and then go to the trench divide technique thank you so much for watching